Hello everyone! These 10 questions about aquatic invertebrates would ask you to distinguish the organisms which do not belong to the group. Question number 1. Which does not belong to the group? A. Starfish B. Sea cucumber C. Sea urchin D. Sea wasp Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the photos of the organisms. Here we have a picture of A. Starfish B. Sea cucumber C. Sea urchin and D. Sea wasp Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms could be grouped into either echinoderm or nidarian. If you choose D or sea wasp, you are correct. Starfishes, sea cucumbers, and sea urchins belong to phylum echinodermata, while the sea wasp belongs to phylum nidaria. Number 2. Which does not belong to the group? A. Mussel B. Oyster C. Giant Clum D. Helmet Cons Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the photos. Here we have a picture of A. Mussel B. Oyster C. Giant Clum and D. Helmet cons. Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms can be grouped into either bivalve or gastropod. If your answer is D or helmet cons, you are correct because this is a univalve or gastropod, while the mussel, oyster, and giant clams are bivalves. Number 3. Which does not belong to the group? A. Scallop B. Arc shell C. Spider cons and D. Window pane shell Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the photos. A. Scallop B. Arc shell C. Spider cons and D. Window pane shell. Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms are either gastropods or bivalves. Can you now guess the answer? If your answer is spider cons, you are correct. A spider cons is a gastropod or univalve, while the scallop, the arc shell, and window pane shells are bivalves. Number 4. Which does not belong to the group? A. Spuds B. Jellyfish C. Anemone and D. Coral Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the photos. A. Barrel Spuds B. Jellyfish C. Anemone and D. Coral Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms belong to two classes, such as either Nidaria or Porifera. If your answer is sponge or letter A, you are correct. Sponges have porous body, that's why they belong to class Porifera. While the jellyfishes, anemones, and corals belong to class Nidaria because they have stinging cells. Number 5. Which does not belong to the group? A. Lobster B. Prawn C. Mangrove crab and D. Horseshoe crab Any answer? If you are unfamiliar of these organisms, here are the photos. A. Lobster B. Prone C. Mangrove grub 
in the horseshoe crab. Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms fall either under class Merostomata or class Malacostraca. If your answer is D or horseshoe crab, you are correct. Horseshoe crabs belong to class Merostomata, while the lobster, mangrove crab, and prone fall under class Malacostraca. Number 6. Which does not belong to the group? A. Lowly fish, B. Green fish, C. Amber fish, and D. Cattle fish. Any answer? If you are not familiar with these species, here are the photos. A. Lowly fish, B. Green fish, C. Amber fish, and D. Cattle fish. Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms fall under either phylum mollusca or echinodermata. If your answer is D or cuttlefish, you are correct. Cuttlefish fall under phylum mollusca, while the lowly fish, green fish, and amber fish fall under phylum echinodermata. Number 7. Which does not belong to the group? A. Macrobrachium rosenbergii B. Portunus pelagicus C. Charybdis feriata and D. C. lacerata Can you make a guess? If not, here are the photos. A. Macrobrachium rosenbergii B. Portunus pelagicus C. Charybdis feriata and D. C. lacerata Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. This organism could be either grouped into two families. Palimonidae and Portunidae. If your answer is A or Macrobrachium rosenbergii, you are correct. These species fall under family Palimonidae. The other three species, such as Portonus pelagicus, Charybdis feriata, and Scylla serrata, belong to family Portunidae. Number 8. Which does not belong to the group? A. Shipworm, B. Peanut worm, C. Abalone, and D. Blood cockle. Any answer? If you are not familiar with these organisms, here are the photos. A. Shipworm, B. Peanut worm, C. Abalone, D. Blood cockle. Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms can be grouped into two phyla, such as phylum siponcula and phylum mollusca. Can you now guess the answer? If your answer is B or peanut worm, you are correct. Peanut worm belongs to phylum siponcula, while sheepworm, abalone, and blood cockles fall under phylum mollusca. Number 9. Which does not belong to the group? A. Crocus clam B. Elongate clam C. Smooth giant clam and D. Venus clam Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the photos. A. Crocus clam B. Elongate clam, C. Smooth giant clam, and D. Venus clam. Can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These four organisms fall under family Cardiidae, 
or family venere day? If your answer is Venus Clum, you are correct. Venus Clums fall under family venere day, while the giant clums fall under family cardii day. Number 10 or the last question. Which does not belong to the group? A. Crown Baylor B. Philippine Cone C. Leopard Cone and D. Geography Cone Can you guess the answer? If you are not familiar with these pieces, here are the photos. A. Crown Baylor B. Philippine Cone C. Leopard Cone and D. Geography Cone can you now identify the answer? If not, here is another hint. These organisms fall either under family Volutidae or Conidae. If your answer is A or crown baler, you are correct. Crown baler fall under family Volutidae while the three cone snails fall under family Conidae. That's all for now. If you have any question or suggestion, please leave your comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this to your networks. Thank you very much.